here we have a side step to the side four one and here comes so we already know how to collect leg bring leg under now the question how to take a step how to place our uh, foot on the floor so number one we have to remember that we have a natural turnout so whatever we step the foot should be natural turnout number two our knee should go from bent to straight so that's already two points but how this leg get out is it get out by itself or it's being controlled through the standing leg so we will try to always connect your free leg to your standing leg the way we were doing it here when we were rotating our using this leg to bring this leg under so the same here this leg will go to the side so i'm again focusing let's say i'm in this position here collected i will focus on rotating of my standing leg and have a little bit foot pivoting foot pivoting motion in my body as i squeeze and this rotation with the part way will shoot this leg out rather than this leg steps on its own so this how to step this how to collect this this how to step this how to collect and now we remember that always whenever we take a step we have a rotation of the leg placing our leg and we have a rotation of the leg collecting the leg so now we uh, when we know how to collect and uh, use the leg to step we can do a time step and it immediately will look really really good so let's try from close position two thirty four one and two and three and four one and two thirty and four one and two and thirty and four one. and of course it's quite a lot of principles to practice but that's what makes it interesting and beautiful and always focus on the most basic principles first always make sure that as you do the step your feet have a natural turnout that's number one then make sure that your knee have a correct action the bending and straightening then make sure that as you bend and straighten your knee you have a brushing between your knees then make sure that you have some actions that you have a pendulum compression rotations and then the last but not the least make sure that your free leg is being controlled by your standing leg Boom. And of course later i'll explain you in other lessons how much you can delay that the body can go more forward than the leg later you can play with that but this is already give you a structure how with this principle make your dancing very beautiful and how to self-correct if movements doesn't look good okay so let's go to the next movement which is called kukaracha it's exactly the same but it has just one little detail so in kukaracha we have a count two step side transfer it three then we have a collecting leg on count four one changing so we're going to the other side two and three and four one and two and three and four one and and in this movement i would like a little bit to pay attention to the foot action so first of course when we learn movement always check yourself on the basic principles natural turnout so if we step side we have natural turnout we collect we have a natural turnout we step other side we have natural turnout we collect we have natural turnout then we check our leg action that we have from here we have one knee bent one knee, uh, one knee straight one knee bent then as we take a step the legs are straight so here as we're changing our weight knees are straight then as we collect we have one leg straight one knee bent then we have a weight change now this leg straight our standing leg straight this leg bent then we have a change here so the leg action correct and now we want to check that we have a brushing as we change so as we change here on count four one we have a brushing so now we have a basic principles covered now let's add some actions to it so we had our pendulum we had our compression we had our rotation we had pendulum compression rotation pendulum compression so rotation so now movement start breathing moving like a professionals and now here i would like to pay attention on the footwork a little bit that your feet um of course as I, we mentioned before as this leg collects your free leg your feet want to be always in contact with the floor but also how to finish position beautiful through the action 
So as we were doing our count two on count three, as this pendulum goes forward, you can send your hips slightly more diagonally forward. 